Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I am here with another comfort with me video. I went out stitching with a friend early in the morning, and before heading back up home, I decided to check out the St. Vinnie's that I knew existed, and this one, which I had never been to before, probably because I had never been down the road before, or down the road that the store is on. It's a town I don't visit very often. So the first thing that caught my eye was this coat rack, and I thought it would be expensive, I thought it wouldn't be sturdy, and the, between the price and how sturdy it was, it was hard to walk away, but I did. Intrigued by that lamp, but it wasn't nearly as tempting as the coat rack. It's always kind of a challenge to figure out the layout of a new store, and that's this crocodile bookend was awesome. It was also a hundred dollars, which do people go into thrift stores expecting to spend a hundred dollars on a set of bookends? I it boggles my mind. It's an old radio like the one my son found at a thrift store a few weeks ago and I liked this clock with the barometer built into it, and I was tempted, but not for $60. Too rich for my blood for a thrift store clock. This was a pretty stained glass-ish clock. And all the various electronics that... You know, sometimes you are looking for that one cable... Apparently they take the knobs off because I guess they're a high theft item. Wouldn't have occurred to me, but I know sewing machine bobbins and cases disappear, so I suppose that people go take electronic knobs. I'd never thought to check the thrift stores for oil lamps. We do use those at our place when the power goes out, and I probably have as many of them as I need or as many of them as I have safe flat surfaces for checking the baskets because I always do. Someday I will find that basket I'm looking for, but it wasn't this trip. A little bit of milk glass and a lot of bric-a-brac. I spend more time looking at bric-a-brac since I started with these videos. There's just so much of it and such a wide variety of it. There's another camel that could go with that collection we spotted a few stores back and a creepy little lamb. And I did find the Stitchers have been buying these milk glass dishes. That one didn't have the right feel to it, which I know nothing about milk glass, but it didn't feel like grandma's. This one was lower to the ground and did... It was nice. I walked away from the temptation because as cute as those are as scissor holders, I've only got maybe two pairs of scissors that would work that way. I was looking for one of those sets of mixer bowls after I dropped my daughter's, but they wanted $40 for those. Looking at Steins, I wish I could have got that one out for a better look at it. Something like that would look good on our old big old fireplace, but this was more of a looking trip than a buying trip. Still had not found the craft supplies, and sometimes I pause with the camera, and then when I come home to record these, I don't know what it was I was looking at. I think this is... I did I see that when I was at the store I remember the gnome I remember the elephant I do not remember the milk glass it's all and the geese I as much as I don't like geese those were cute I love this little duck box the colors and the detail of him he was just neat I haven't seen one quite like him before 
little sadly, I left him behind because I can't have everything that catches my eye and sparkles. This deck was made from a golf club head, I guess. Another one of those things I've never seen before. And a little clock, just... Insanity is inherited. You get it from your children. I didn't have my children with me on this particular trip, so... Calmer, more peaceful, a whole lot less fun. Thrifting with teenage boys is fun. Pierogi maker, I have not seen one of those before in all of the kitchen stuff. And like I said, I don't know why I look at all the kitchen stuff, because I don't need any more of it, but for some reason it entertains me. And sometimes we do find that thing that we need, that I never knew we needed. Finally found the craft section. And usually there's a lot at this store, but there was nothing. It was sad. There was a little bit of scrapbooking and a lot of rubber stamps because these days there are always rubber stamps. I don't know if the women who went big into scrapbooking are finally deciding that they don't want to do that anymore or what, but there's a lot of it. Lots of just random little crafty stuff, but not a single piece of needlework. I saw one package of fabric, and that was absolutely it. And a few sewing notions. Most of what was in there wasn't sewing notions. I like that this store does try to keep things somewhat organized. And an inflatable hot tub for $99 that has not been tested, but goes under their electronics return policy. Old trunk with COD. I don't know if that's for the shipping of the trunk. You know there's a story there behind that. Another old couch to be intrigued by. If I was going to buy a thrifted couch, it would absolutely be something that looked like it came from Great Aunt Tilly's estate. And I, one of these days I'm going to get one of these doll houses. I don't know why. I never had one as a kid. I had a lot of Fisher Price, but not this one. It said it had the people and furniture at the register. So maybe it was worth the $25. I don't know Fisher Price values, but I love the graphics in that, especially the little fireplace. And thank you so much for watching. This is about the end of the trip. I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I love it when you come thrifting with me. I'll be back again soon with more videos.